This is Sir Tap Tap, and I kind of wanted to always do a vid of, or so, of one of the epic Battle Fantasy games, but they take so freaking long. They're RPGs, and they're, guy, they're by the, um, Matt Rasak, the same guy that did the um, Bullet Heaven, and I was a fan of him because of these games, not because of Bullet Heaven, but Bullet Heaven was just the awesome icing on the cake of win. So, this is an RPG type game. And you're only I'm going to show you the final boss because I finally beat the final boss in epic difficulty, which is the really hard one. And as you can see, it's a very long game. I haven't actually played for 19 hours, like my save file says. Um, I usually played this in class and you know other places I'm not supposed to play video games, so it would end up left on for you know a few hours while I would play like maybe a few minutes here and there. And so it's an RPG. Um, turn-based thingy. You kill stuff with attacks and swords and things. And since this is the final area and the hardest difficulty, it's actually fairly difficult at this point. Though, if I'm reading the Newgrounds description thingy right, it sounds like... Actually, I don't see anything about updates. I'm pretty sure he made some update updates to change the um, difficulty level to be a bit more fair because in in the hardest difficulty mode, it used to be the case that uh, everything had poison status and everything healed constantly and lots of these things could heal themselves. Oh snap, I'm gonna die. No, I meant run. Run. But yeah, everything was extremely difficult, and uh, these fuckers, these monolith things, um, they could heal themselves like 100%, and they take forever to kill anyway, so that was thoroughly annoying. But yeah, I'm not going to bother to kill these, because these take forever. And they're pretty damn tough to kill, though I think they only use dark element attacks. So if I use strategy and that sort of weird stuff, I suppose I could actually kill them fairly easily. How did... It just pisses me off that a solitary... Or, uh, not solitary. Stationary object can dodge my epic attacks. It's annoying. Look at that. Healed 10,000 like it was nothing. Also, this is gonna hurt. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I do actually have dark defense for once, so... That attack, it heals frickin' Lance, um, if you don't know the characters, I'll exit this fight. Yeah, they heal themselves with, like, every attack. These guys are very annoying. Anyway, I don't want to get in a rant about that. So what's going on? Let's, let us heal my peoples. There we go. Right, so my team, it's mostly the same people as in, uh, Bullet Heaven. We've got Matt, he uses swords, and he's, uh, he's the dumb fighter guy. We've got Natty, she's kind of the white slash black mage, she's a gray, she's a gray mage. And there's Lance, who's sort of the support character. I don't mean that in a bad sense necessarily, but that's what I tend to use him as, and he doesn't, he's not as helpful at dealing damage. He does have a few good attacks though. And for my equipment, this is basically all set up to give me high defense and death resistance, because death... The status effect death is what usually kills me in the final boss fight. And Natty has good protection against dark and holy. And also death. Though I don't think the final boss uses holy that much. I'm also not sure why she has a Pope outfit, but whatever. And Lance's SS uniform here gives him lots of dark resistance and a little bit of death resistance. I think that's from his gun. Yeah, it is. So... The final boss switches elements constantly, but his most common attacks are usually non-elemental or darkness, if I remember correctly. And this is the final boss. He's this worm-looking thing. So let's kill him. Hopefully. I thought this was going to be hard as hell, and then when I just tried because someone had mentioned it on my Bullet Heaven videos, I found... I beat him the first try, so I was kind of like, oh, shit, why didn't I do this months ago? <laughs> 
Because I pretty much quit after I got to this guy. But there's some cool ways to do lots of damage to him. For one thing, Terra Drill here does tons of damage when the enemy has lots of defense. Or they have buff defense, so... Very good to use on him. See? 40 fucking thousand damage. I love that. But, I do not love that he has buffs on, so let's debuff him. There you go. Well, more like Dispel. I guess that's technically separate from debuffing. Also, he has... So his element is indicated by his gem here. He is currently Thunder. So, Earth. I need Earth to do extra damage to him, except Natty does not have Earth magic. It's one of the few types of magic she does not have. So, I will... Use Pulsar. The final boss summons lots and lots of fucking minions, so I always try to keep those dead. Oh, he's using ice for some reason. Oh, and you froze my healer, you bastard. That's like the one person I would like you to not freeze, please. That rhymed for some reason. Alright, no, no freezing Natty. I need her to live. The other two you can do whatever the fuck, but Natty does the healing and the... She does healing and damage dealing, so that's... She's slightly important in that regard, and that... Basically, all of my strategies completely fall apart if she's dead. So... Let's make that not happen. Pretty much, I always use Matt for attacking, plus uh, his dispel thing. Oh yeah, you're the final boss. Woohoo, we get it. I would do spooky voice, but i um, going out tonight so I don't want to destroy my throat. I also don't do a very... the I don't do the best spooky voice. I can kind of do Dr... What is it? Dr. Claw or whatever from Inspector Gadget. What am I doing? Alright, Earth! So I can... Wait. Hmm. Nah, eh, fuck it. I will attack you. 12,000 is not that bad. They don't really have anything good for you to do, Natty. So I will heal. Regain is pretty important in any of the boss fights, at least in epic mode. Gonna sneeze. And I completely forgot what I was talking about. So, I want this thing dead. So let's kill it, hopefully. That is Lance's really good physical attack. See, look at that shit. Oh, hello. Hello. But yeah, it unfortunately deb debuffs his attack by 50%, so... Can't use it that much. I basically have to wait, like, fucking 10 turns to use it again, or I can buff his attack. Oh crap, he killed Matt. For some reason, Matt is wearing the best defense stuff, and yet he dies the most. He may have, um... I don't know, maybe I messed up his stats and he has lower defense, or... or may I just don't know what the deal is with that. He just seems to die a lot. Not sure why. I definitely gave Natty a few more of the defense items because um, I like my healer being alive. That's fairly important. An unfortunate thing about Matt is that he does not have many um, hit all attacks. Or, you know, attacks that hit everybody. But he does have this, which is his limit break. One of them. He basically stabs the shit out of everything. Stabs the shit out of everything is basically a good description of Matt, really. Stabs and or slashes the shit out of everything. Um, let's use a bomb. Bombs are his other attack that I use all the damn time. Yes! I got the good bomb. There are three different types of bomb. There's that one, which is really badass. There's one that's really, really, really weak. Yeah, yeah, you're the final boss. We get it. And then there's, uh, there's one that's like a Slavov missile that's not, it's not great, but it's good. Also, despite Natty being my healer, I really hate having to use her to actually heal, because that's a wasted turn. You know, living makes nothing a waste, but, um, still. Also, you are getting, yeah, nuke. I also found out the final boss you can actually poison, which I was amazed to find that out. Because in epic mode, pretty much everything you poison, it's going to get healed by it. 
Also, there's no way we were next to that nuke, there, that close to that nuke and not completely instantly vaporized. But whatever. Also, the characters have snide comments, generally for almost any situation, but I've already seen almost all of them. Also, that means big shit is coming up. He also buffed his attack, so... You want to debuff his magic attack now. Which, unfortunately, feels like a wasted turn, too, but... You just have to take this fight slow, which also means this video is going to probably be really long. But... Eh, sure. I like this limit break. It's, um, it buffs everyone and fully heals your party, and it debuffs all of the enemies. Oh, it also heals status, which is awesome. I was wondering if it did that. So what else can I do? I'm gonna shoot you since I have my attack buffed. That didn't seem very significant, but he's down like a fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess that is not a darkness type attack. I thought that was. I guess it's non elemental. Which makes sense. It would be sort of lame if you could block the final boss's strongest attack just by using, you know, certain armor. Are you still. Yeah, you're still weak to earth. Eh, whatever. Really should kill these two. But I think Natty can do that with Pulsar, maybe. We can definitely kill this loser. Alright, and he's poisoned, so he'll he'll die soon enough. Should probably he hmm. Yeah, I should probably heal myself. I'm I'm not a defensive kind of guy, which makes this these fights annoying because you really really have to be defensive at least in epic difficulty you need to be but especially in this fight because it takes a really long time ha it died okay so the way the boss spawns his uh, minions here every time that giant head thing pops up he spits out the worm so those two enemies and every time he drops back down to this form he spawns these two jerks also, it is perfect time to use Terra Drill. 30,000, not too shabby. And now I dispel you. Oh, it's also pretty worthwhile to debuff the uh, enemies. Do I have any... I don't think Natty has any debuffs. I should put Shine back on again, though. I mean, regain. What? <laughs> Yeah, you've lost all memory, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Hey, where did you come from? Sometimes he just randomly spawns normal enemies, too. Uh, some of the tougher normal enemies. He doesn't spawn the, not the monoliths, thank fuck. But, uh... He spawns some of the more annoying ones. The most annoying ones are the ones that use uh, death spells, but... I'm all but immune to those, so... I don't care on that regard that much. Let us use protect. Also, these guys are weak to bomb. Bomb is its own element in this game. Which kind of makes sense. So it does a fair amount of damage. Why does he keep using ice? Where does the ice come from? You're not ice type. I'm pretty sure he's a holy element right now. Also, I should have um, debuffed you. Oh, I forgot to mention with the um, items. Um, Lance's uh, SS uniform here gives him um, some backup attacks, so... There's a random percent every turn that you'll get like a tank shot or whatever. Like just happened there. I kind of wish I could use Matt to heal, because... Right, dark and poison. Oh, poison. Very good. I shall poison you. Because his attacks are less helpful in this fight, because they're not... Wait, shoot. Hmm. Hmm.
The thing I hate the most about this fight is that I never know 100% sure what to do. Also, I probably should have debuffed his magic attack. But I'm an idiot and I didn't think to do that. Let's buff Matt so he doesn't die. I do not like when my characters die. I'm just that kind of weird person. Well, that was pathetically weak. Hey! What did I tell you about freezing my frickin' healer, you jerk face? Oh, now you're healing. You're a bitch. I hate you. Though really, 10,000 isn't that bad. Also, he does have this single hit all spell, well, attack. And it's really fucking weak. That is totally wasted of a turn, but whatever. This is more like it. Except it will heal the dark type enemies. It wasn't actually quite as strong as I was hoping it would be. Okay, where's the bomb thingy? Dark clay. Big bomb. Yes! I love that bomb so much. It just looks so awesome, and it does damage so awesomely. It's just like a bomb made of pure awesome. Oh, hello. Now you're gonna spit out a worm. Well, half of one. Whatevs. Stop impaling my people. Please. I do not like... I do not like my people being impaled. They don't like being impaled either. It's just rude. It really, really is. And now I... Oh, right! I always, always forget that Matt has this attack that debuffs their magic defense. So I can use that and then do a 1-2 hit with Natty. Not too bad. Not too bad. But the thing about that is I never think to use... Matt has a bunch of magic type attacks too, but I never think to use them because he's, he's so terrible with them. But they usually have secondary effects that make it worth it. Man will survive for freaking ever because we are awesome, so shut your face. Shut your cavernous maw, you stupid final boss person. Ow. Also, I gotta waste another turn healing. Actually, you know what? I have pizza. I'm gonna use Natty to do another... Dark attack. I wish her dark attacks were stronger. That seems like they should be fucking awesome because... You know, it's a darkness element that's always, like, the super epic type, but it's still pretty damn good, but her holy attacks, I think, are slightly stronger. But they only hit one target, so they're not as useful right now. Oh, you're doing... We're back to this now, are we? I guess I gotta dispel your pathetic ass. He's almost down to half health. Very good sign. So unfortunately, it means this video is going to be like 40 fucking minutes, but whatever. This is why I'm not doing the full game. It's going to take forever. Though, when uh, Epic Battle Fantasy IV comes out, I'm debating as whether I'll just bite the bullet and do the whole game recorded or not. Because, like, either way, I'm going to play the whole damn game. I suppose I may as well record it. Ow. So I guess the dark defense, the darkness defense wasn't as helpful as I thought, but we're still, still doing alright. Also, why are you, you, why did you do that? Why did you be stunned? Why do you do this to me? Wait, how many turns is he stunned for? Your frickin' staff is in the way, Natty. God damn it. Whatever. I'm going to hit your ass with a new, wait. Oh, shoot. One thing I don't like about how the game works is that I want to, um, before I use an attack, I like to check, like, what elements enemies are weak to, if I don't remember. Haha. <laughs> but, you can't do that with hit all attacks. Oh, hello, evil eye thing. It's not spooky at all. Also, his gem starts to crack as you do lots of damage to him. And his eyes come out of his evil bandagedness. Also, if you have, you have no arms, where did your arms go? Only losers don't have any arms. Also, whoa, you have magic defense now. 
Let's switch to you. And let's abuse Terra Drill. We're awesome like that. Only 11,000? You're pathetic, um, Lance. I hate you now. Also, what is... Okay. There! Purify. Oh, it heals everyone! I always forget what that does, because I never, ever use it. But it's actually better than I think it is. That's the thing that heals all of your status effects. It's pretty useful because, um, you know, it heals everybody's status effects and all of them. Instead of just, like, one person like it usually would be. Ouch. That hurt. Don't, don't do that again. But... I still don't think to do it because, you know... I'm not a Healy type of person. Please die. Thank you. Alrighty. Now we heal... Let's just revive everyone and fully heal. This is the thing I hate the most about this battle. Just having to constantly heal. Fortunately, Natty can heal the entire party 100% now. At least with this. Not with the, um... What's it called? With Regain, you get a fairly anemic healing output. Don't kill people. Stop that. Killing people's mean. Unless I'm doing the killing, then it's completely appropriate. So, shut your face. Oh, I should be taking advantage of the fact that he's Holy Element, because... I can do fucking Pulsar and kill everything. And what do I want now? Let's blow up the stupid dark clay, because I hate him. I hate his face. This is the other type of bomb. See, it's not bad at all. Killed a couple things. I like when things kill things. Oh yeah, you're the whole... Oh no, I'm immortal, I suck. That whole rant. Also, now I have to st dispel your ass again. Your ass just likes being dispelled way too much. It's completely inappropriate. And now... Eh, fuck it. Let's use this thingy. I sort of don't like to use this because it's mostly healing, and that's pretty lame for a uh, effect, but it also gives major debuffs on all the enemies and major buffs, so... It's probably more worth it in both the long and short term, really, than... Um, a single-use attack. Hey! Asshole. That's what I'm talking about with the death. It doesn't happen very often now that I have the death defense gear. But my first time I played through, um, through the boss, I had to do that like 5,000 times. Yay. And nothing dies. It's wonderful. Now I have to waste a fully buffed turn reviving your sorry ass, Lance. I hope you're happy. Also, you're no longer buffed because you died. Lance, you ruin everything. What is your problem? As your penance, you will now take your attack debuff. He's down to... like... two-fifths. Yeah, I delighted my power too. It is pretty fucking incredible. Thank you. Hey! You just killed him! You are such a dick! Final bosses are just assholes. What am I doing? Should I debuff you? Yeah, I probably should. Ugh. There's almost, almost too much strategy in this fight. Because I hate using... this spell and all that stuff. Ooh. No, I probably don't want to use Nuke now. Oh, I also forget, I have way too much pizza. Um, pizza fully heals your whole party. Magic too, so... It's pretty much better than even using the fully healy spell. And I'm not going to use all eight of them in this single fight, so I may as well just use them when I can. Damn it! Would you stop dying? I hate you so much, Lance. Oh. And you're making me waste my powered up turns, too. Hmm. Whatever. 
I'm just gonna heal you and let Natty use her normal attack. Well, not normal attack. I've almost never used her normal attack because, you know, she's a mage and all of that. But I will use this because fuck you, final boss. I hate you. Also, it really bugs me that when I launch the nuke, it lands closer to my party than the enemy. Like, couldn't you at least shoot it closer to them? I mean, not that range... Not that that kind of range really matters for a nuke, but still, Jesus. Stop killing everyone. I am above God himself, because I'm fucking awesome. Don't kill Matt, thank you. Oh God, um, fuck. See, I'm so above God himself that I make extremely close calls, but I still live, so fuck you. Oops. Whatever. Pizza time! We're the fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pizza makes everything better. It's like, oh, I just got decapitated. Dude, I have pizza. It's cool. Yep, he's made a powerful foe. Foe. Okay, I think he's less painful when he's down like this. Oh, hello. Hideous red glowing eyes. It's been a while. I'm not sure if he actually gets more evil and badass as he goes on, like, with the more damage and shit, but he certainly looks like it anyway. Also, thank you for dying. Oops, not attack. Let's use some Terra Drill up in this bitch. And... Dispel also up in this bitch. And I guess... Oh, I should peel. <laughs> For not dying sake. Not dying is always excellent. No oh, crap. Oh. I guess I don't really care about you. Wait, please don't hurt anyone. Oh. This guy tends to use lots of death spells like that. But now he's completely immune to death. I think he is too. So, that matters a lot less. Also, I'm in immense pain. I am in a world of pain. But pizza makes the pain go away. I might actually run out of pizza this time. Which, that would be a first. Now... Hmm. I'm glad these enemies don't all have an immunity to dark, because that would be very annoying. It's one of my favorite abilities of Natty's to use. And now, bomb. Well, that was kind of weak. Also, I should probably kill you, this ghost thingy here. Oh, stop storing power. On the plus side, if you have... If all of the enemies are already out, if he tries to summon more, nothing happens, fortunately. Holy shit, what? You son of a bitch. No! Are you kidding? He has death defense. You shouldn't die every time that happens. Ugh. Lance, I kind of hate you right now. Just slightly. Just slightly. Whatever, though. Nuke time, bitches. Also, his nuke is especially helpful when the boss has, uh... When he's weak to uh, fire. Because it's actually fire element. Ha! Kills your ass dead. And now more healing. 19 turns of poison? I didn't know you could go over 9 turns. That's special. 21 turns of poison. That's what I'm talking about. Use that more often, please. Wait, did he turn dark type or something? What type are you? No, he's still holy. It's sort of odd that he uses the dark attack while he's holy. Not that I'm complaining. Also, I have this. I don't know how much this heals. This hurts them and heals me, but it's based on... magic. So... not too bad. But still kind of pathetic. Hooray! And what do I want to do? Is that my... no, that's defense. Sure, I will use this. I'll shoot you in the face a bunch. 
He's down to one fifth. It's very nice. Oh, and you're gonna do that again. At least he's being predictable. Alright, it's definitely time to debuff. I love that poison actually damages the boss. That's very that was very nice to know. I figured he would just be healed by it. But that would be sort of unfair because one of his forms can actually be harmed by it's actually weak to poison, so if his form weak to poison was healed by poison, that would be just slightly dickish. Just slightly. Oh, I should probably heal. Yeah, I should definitely heal because he's doing the big attack next. And what do I want to do with you? Um, I guess I'll protect Natty. Because I like when you are alive. Because you make everything hurt slightly less. Well, actually you don't. You just make healing slightly less not happen. Or something. Damn it, Matt! Did he seriously just take 5,000 damage from poison? You're such a pussy. Honestly, 5,000 from poison. Oh wait, is it scaled by how many poison turns you have left? That would be extremely mean. Alright, so I want to use Cleaver. Also, he really does have better swords than this, but it gives death defense, so I gave it to him. So for once, I have a good reason to use this as far as healing goes. And the buff will be very nice. And so will the debuff. Oh, now he's spitting swords at me that have, like, fucking Latin or... Now, is that Greek lettering on it? I don't know. Definitely not Latin. Not sure why I said that. Um, what element are you now? He doesn't change elements as often as I thought he would. So you're still weak to dark and poison. Hey! You're stunned! Why are you stunned? Stop being stunned. I hate when people are stunned. And now I shall do that to you, because I hate you. Damn! Did you see his health go down? That was that was very nice. You don't have any dark attacks, do you, buddy? Oh, wait, you kind of do. They're just amazingly pathetic. Oh, wow. Um, these are the pop-ups that usually come up the first time you ever use a skill. I guess I've absolutely never used that spell before. Which doesn't really surprise me, it's just kind of funny. And for your turn... Um... Bombs. Oh wait, I should use his attack thing. Watch him call it. Oh thank god, he's gonna die soon. He's gonna die very soon. I want Lance to be alive for this. Come on, Lance, get your ass back on the ground. This is how you kill something, Lance. That is how you kill something. Haha, -ha, you're dead. Fucker. Yeah, you have a seizure. I hate you. Haha. <laughs> he looks so sad. His dying is fairly epic. That's what you get for living. Death. It was never known from where Akron originated and his influence on ev Earth's evolution is debatable. Perhaps he did not always take his current monstrous form. However, it was clear that he had become twisted over the ages, a being left with no remorse and little sanity, seeking only to quench an insatiable hunger for power. Yeah, the whole story was vaguely based around him, but you're honestly not missing all that much. Leeching energy from Earth and its inhabitants, he had become a threat which could no longer be ignored and simply sealed away. The time had come to finally destroy him, just like in every other RPG and free mankind from his curse by murdering him. There just happened to be three warriors with the strength and courage to tackle such attack, backed by a cast of many friends whom they encountered in their travels, and the rest is history. As we stab him in the fucking throat. Even though Matt really wasn't that much of a help in the fight, 
he gets to be the hero in this scene for some reason. He was really kind of useless in the fight except for his dispel, actually. We're getting drunk with the giant octopus and the mammoth. Good times. Good times. Also, cupcakes. Cake. Excellent. Also, lots of cats with no limbs. Those are always adorable. And no legs here is enjoying some sort of canned beverage. But this has been the final boss fight of Epic Battle Fantasy. And this is probably all of the Epic Battle Fantasy Let's Playing I'll be doing. But I wanted to do a video of it just for shits and giggles. So I hope you enjoyed, even though I was mostly just rambling. But that's what I usually do, so whatever. Also, I think this is a squid, not a octopus. Because he has squid arms. Squids... No, wait, these are tentacles. Squids have two tentacles and lots of arms that are little and stubby. While octopi have lots of tentacles and no arms, because they're losers. Squids are definitely cooler than octopi. That's, that's all I have to say.